jail, whatever, should be put in jail or should be put in mental institutions. And uh, some of this is coming from people who are normally very progressive. So I find that all very concerning because while I may not agree with every issue that you know you believe in or other people believe in, I believe people have the right to to express these opinions without fear of being put in jail or you know locked away in a psych ward or something. Well, exactly. And again, if you just uh, joined us, we're talking to a, you know, a well-known, successful comic book uh, a writer and uh, editor uh, who has uh, uh, just released the Edward Snowden comic book as a comic book hero, graphic novel beyond Edward Snowden will hit shelves later this month, exploring NSA whistleblowers motivation for taking part in the largest leak of classified information in U.S. history. Well, no, it's a disclosure of criminal illegal spying they lied about that we've had dozens and dozens of big whistleblowers bigger than him it just never got media attention why do you think snowden's gotten so much attention compared to all the other uh, telecom whistleblowers nsa whistleblowers wayne madsen so many others uh you know honestly i think part of it is that he's very photogenic and he's very much a representative of that sort of geek culture of, like I said, video games, pop culture, comic books, cartoons. And I think he's, you know, kind of hit the zeitgeist at the right time. And I think that's part of why people are so fascinated with him. Um, Valerie DeRazio, again, is our guest, ValerieDeRazio.com. I agree with you. And, and, and they've denied all this is going on. They denied basically everything I'm saying is going on. Now it's all public. So they've got a major issue. They want to put it back on Edward Snowden or Alex Jones or you or Ron Paul or anybody that questions them. But they're the ones driving the train off the cliff. And so, you know, people aren't listening to the criticism anymore. And really, they've the public's lost all confidence in the system. I mean, Republican establishment, Cantor just got defeated in the primary. Democrats are getting defeated in their primaries uh, by people coming from nowhere who are saying they're against what Obama's doing. And so we call it left or right. They want to keep us in that. If the Republicans were doing the things that Obama is doing, I would be screaming bloody murder. In fact, I was under Bush, and I thought he was the worst ever. I mean, Obama, using his progressive credentials, has just made the good progressives out there who aren't really just authoritarian kleptocrats posing as, as liberals. You know, Thomas Jefferson's a liberal. I say that every day. Bill Clinton and, and Al Gore are shysters, and Obama is a shyster. And Joe Biden's a shyster and Hillary Clinton's a criminal. I mean, they're all just frauds and a bunch of Republicans are bad as well. So my issue is, is they call it a right wing issue that I want to own guns to protect myself. They call it a right wing issue that I want some national sovereignty. No, it's just common sense. The, Mexico's collapsing into us now. Mexico's a failed state. And now it's collapsing military bases all over the U.S. in total squalor. I mean, it's, we're being overrun, and Obama's overrunning the country, saying, come here, come here to cause a crisis. We're seeing insane times. So it, it, it's self-defense. It's survival. I don't think D or R, but the entire Republican Party at the leadership level is working with the Democrats to stop the true Tea Party and call them racist. And they're doing that because Ron Paul and myself and others started the Tea Party back in, like, 2006. It was an organic liberty movement. We would call it Tea Parties. It was protesting Republicans and Democrats in 2007 and 8. The Republicans were smart and came in and tried to take it over. That backfired, and the Tea Party took them over. So now they go, the Tea Party is dead and discredited as it takes over. So that's the psyop. I don't mean to go off on a rant, but, yeah, when you say, you know, I'm more of a progressive or whatever, but or, or they're not following progressive ideas, I agree with some of what you say and not some of the other. Exactly. It doesn't matter if who you are, gay, straight, black, white. It, tyranny is coming down on us. We can settle any differences later, but right now this country's going to hell in a handbasket. How would you describe what's going on in the nation right now? Well, like, I, I don't believe in left or right or black and white because reality is not like that reality is shades of gray and so I, and I believe that more and more people are you know becoming independent thinkers and i think it's very important to become independent thinkers i believe a lot of people are being disillusioned by this black or white left or right sort of dichotomy and um you know in that sense i have a lot of optimism i think there's a lot of you know people really using critical thinking applying it to the you know the, the news that they watch and you know wanting to be you know to have liberty and to have, you know, to not to be caught in this black or white, left or right sort of jail. And, 
you know, and I think there's a great awakening happening in this country. And I think, you know, that particular thing, I think that's a great thing. I try to I try to focus on the positive, Alex, because if I have to focus on just all the negative, I'll be really, you know, sad and depressed all the time. But uh, I think there's some positive there. Valerie Dorazio dot com is the website and i guess it hits store shelves here very soon because that came out a few weeks ago in time magazine people can find the digital copy right now on your website yeah. or i guess they can go to the comic book site itself what's what's the best place to to find the publisher itself uh, what i would do is um go to valeriederazio.com and the first post um has all the information you need to uh read uh this edward snowden book right now digitally or to order your own paper copy and uh, as well as to pre-order my upcoming um uh joker comic book as well that's what i wanted to talk to you about in fact i forgot we had the shootings another joker connection why do we keep seeing us in aurora you name it i want to get your take on that iconography and, and, and those archetypes, because that's what makes comic books successful, is knowing archetypes. You're a comic book editor. I want to get your take on that. Stay with us. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a glue free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com. Keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-478-9638 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-478-9638 to take your call now. Call 1-800-478-9638. That's 1-800-478-9638. Again, 1-800-478-9638. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. our guest. We're going to talk for a few minutes about the archetype of the Joker and then end this transmission. We're going to have more on what's going on at these military bases tonight with Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs and Kit Daniels who are going to a facility right now. I'm not going to name which one. Bottom line, the Republican leadership is panicking. We have articles on Infowars.com. They are declaring total war on the Tea Party, freaking out. 
and the public knows the system's a bunch of liars, so when they get attacked, that's an endorsement. When they attack me and say I'm behind the shootings, that's an endorsement. I mean, that's how discredited they are. They got a 9% congressional approval rating, as low as 6 in some Gallup polls. I think North Korean leaders are probably more popular than that in their country. I mean, this is a group of crooks on average. And they are the jokers, destroying our society, never getting in trouble for what they do. And I'm telling you, we're in false flag territory. They know that there is a revolution through the voting right now. And they're not going to want to let that happen. They're going to want to blame the Tea Party. I mean, they could do anything. Say a Tea Partier that worked at a nuclear power plant blows it up with explosives and radiates a city. I mean, you name it. Something horrible, they'll pull it. The, the, and people are like, man, that's wild. Folks, that's what they do. They just caught NATO with Turkey launching chemical attacks with Saudi Arabia and blaming it on Assad. That was even in the BBC and Cy Hirsch. They've killed 300,000 people, mainly Christians. Our government is funding Al-Qaeda to kill hundreds of thousands of people. Now, do you think they'll pull something? Just watch. I know them. But see, that doesn't even work anymore. People are like, fine. A Tea Partier, don't blame us. A Tea Partier blew up a nuclear power plant. Or a Tea Partier shot up a police station. We don't even know what happened there, but it doesn't matter. George Washington's not bad because somebody that liked him did that. You, the people that caused this. Let, let's... With this whole atmosphere, I'm unbowed. I don't take the guilt of everything you say I've done. Valerie, in closing, you got about three minutes. What is the archetype of the Joker? Why do you think it's connected to so many horrible events? I have an ancient archetype called the uh, the trickster that's, you know, thousands and thousands of years old. And, um, you know, it's it, these types of symbols hit people in a very primal part of their brain. And they can, you know, be used to connect with people in a very deep way. Yeah, uh, well, in kind of the deeper Satanism, that that type of leering, smiling, demonic face is uh, is uh, associated with just rampine mass murder of innocents. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a very you know, for lack of a better word, sort of demonic um, presence. Um, and so, like, in, I'm not surprised that there have been a lot of crimes, you know, connected to, to figures like him and, you know, now the Slender Man uh, stabbings, the most recent uh, sort of stuff. So, yeah, it's absolutely very powerful, powerful image. Well, maybe you should do, who is Joker? Is that DC Comics? That's DC Comics, yep. Man, can you imagine if they did one on why the Joker, you know, in, in, in iconography or icons is so wicked? I mean, that would be a bestseller and would explain why. Because I, I, I did a Joker piece once when the Batman movie came out three or four years ago. And my listeners got really freaked out and thought I was a bad person because I could act like the Joker. I mean, people got really disturbed by that. Yeah, I mean, it's a very, you know, I mean, writing the book, it was a very kind of, um, my book, The Joker, was a very kind of uh, disturbing book to write. You know, and you really kind of need to get that energy off yourself once you're kind of involved with it a little bit. Uh, so I totally know where you're coming from. Um, but yeah, there have been Joker-related crimes since 2008. Um, well, some of petty and uh, sort of small crimes instead of like shootings and stabbings. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's bizarre, but we shouldn't ban the Joker comic because it's, not. it's mentally ill people that are clicking with that. Thank you so much. Amazing. Nightly News will be big tonight, 7 o'clock Central. Pray for InfoWars. Pray for America. Pray for liberty. Pray for peace. Pray for the whole you world. Pray that we repent and come back to being good, decent Visit people. God bless you all. Today. Great job, crew. This is Scottish.